This is the new AirTag from Apple. It's a small device, a little bit bigger than a quarter, that allows you to track pretty much any item. In this video, I want to take a closer look at it, walk through the setup process, and provide an overall review. Before we get started, my name's Michael. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, we talk about all things technology, so if you're into that type of thing, consider subscribing. The first thing I actually want to talk about with this AirTag is the compatibility. In order to use these new AirTags, you'll need an iPhone or an iPod Touch running iOS 14.5 or later. You can also use Use an iPad running iPad OS 14.5 or later. They're also pretty affordable, which usually Apple and affordable don't go together, but these are about $29 a piece, or you can get a four pack for $99. If you're interested in purchasing any, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can buy some. Now you can also engrave any AirTag with an emoji. So you can put smiley faces on this, you can put letters or text on it. I'm not the type of guy who usually engraves any of my tech products, but since these are so cheap and I haven't really ever engraved before, I decided to throw a smiley face on one of the AirTags. It ended up turning out pretty cool, so that is an option for you to do if you so choose. Now I purchased the pack of four for about a hundred bucks and there's really not too much you get inside of the packaging itself comes in a small package here and when you unfold it you'll just be greeted with all four air tags on the left of the packaging you'll be given instructions to update your device to the latest version of os and on the right you'll have instructions on how to actually turn on the air tag itself and connect it all you really have to do is pull the plastic off of the air tag itself this will cause the battery inside it to actually make contact and it will turn on and play a sound. We'll talk more about the actual battery and the air tags later on in this video, so stay tuned. After you've taken the plastic off of the air tag itself, it's dead simple to actually connect it to your Apple device. You simply just need to put it within two inches or about five centimeters of a compatible Apple device and it will automatically connect. You'll then be asked to actually name the device. You can use one of the pre-selected names that Apple has made or you can name it something custom. From here, you'll be asked to assign the AirTag to your Apple ID. So all AirTags are assigned to your Apple ID and your Apple ID only. And you can also assign a certain emoji to it so when you see it in the Find My App, you will see that emoji. And that's it. After you do that, the device is connected to your Apple device and your Apple ID. You can then place the AirTag with any sort of device that you want to track, whether that's a purse or your set of keys, and you'll be able to track that AirTag or that item on your Apple device. Now you can also rename an AirTag at any time. So if you want to rename it on your Apple device, just open up the Find My App, click on the items icon in the bottom, find the AirTag you want to rename, click on it, scroll down, and then just hit rename. Now on this screen, you'll also notice there's a lot more information about the actual AirTag itself. So let's talk about it a bit. Here's where you can actually play a sound if you are trying to find an item. So this was what you will do if you are looking for an item in your home, whether it's your keys or your purse, you can actually play a sound and you will hopefully be able to hear it. You can also enable lost mode here. So if the item you're looking for has an AirTag attached to it and it is lost, maybe a backpack, you can enable lost mode here. You can also get notifications from the AirTag itself and the item it is attached to, and you can turn on notifications in this screen as well. Now let's talk about privacy for a second because that's a huge focus with Apple in general, and especially with item tracking, so let's discuss it. So if you lose an item and you have an AirTag attached to it, Apple will use other devices throughout society to try to help locate that AirTag or that item. But only you can actually see where the AirTag is. So your location history and data will never actually be stored on the AirTag itself. And any devices that actually help relay the location of your AirTag will stay completely anonymous and the location data in general is completely encrypted. So not even Apple will know the location of an AirTag or whatever device helps identify where it's actually located at. Let's talk about unwanted tracking. So let's say someone gets one of these AirTags and they put it into a woman's purse or something, and they can now track that person in theory. The way Apple is combating this is that if your iPhone notices another AirTag is with you all the time and it's not assigned to your Apple ID, you actually can get notified on your iPhone about that. After a while, if you still haven't found the AirTag itself or if you don't have an iPhone, the AirTag will actually start playing a sound so that the person that is being tracked with the AirTag unwillingly ends up finding the AirTag and is hopefully notified. So props to Apple for all those privacy features, but let's transition into a little less serious topic. Let's talk about battery life. So all AirTags use a CR2032 coin cell battery. Man, that was a mouthful to say. <laughs> so because these are new, they just came out a few days ago, it's been hard to actually test the battery life on them. On Apple's website, they claim that it's gonna last for over a year. And your iPhone does track what level each AirTag's battery is actually at. 
and it will notify you when it's time to change out the battery. All AirTags are also IP67 water resistant, so if you happen to get these wet, drop them in a puddle for whatever reason, hopefully they will not break. There's also a ton of accessories you can buy for AirTags too, so these will allow you to actually attach the AirTag to your keys or to some luggage or whatever item you're trying to track. So these can be as cheap as $13 for a simple keychain accessory or as much as $450 for some fancy leather name brand luggage tracking accessory thing. I'm not going to be buying that one personally, but it is an option if you want to spend $450 on a $29 product. And of course, you can also find some on Amazon as well. I personally picked up some from Belkin, those $13 ones, and they work pretty great. It allows me to attach an AirTag to my keys. It's also going to provide just a little bit of protection since you have that shiny metal on here that'll get scratched up pretty easily. Lastly here, I really want to talk about precision finding because this is pretty cool with AirTags. So if any AirTag is nearby and you have an iPhone 11 or newer, it can actually lead you directly to that item within pretty much inches. So you can actually bring this up on your iPhone and it's almost like a little tracking game. It'll point to where you should or should not go. It also works with altitude as well. This is something I tested out when I was testing the AirPods. So if it says you're right on an actual AirTag, it'll tell you that, hey, it might not, it might not be on this level. It might be above or below you. Your phone will also start kind of making noises and vibrating when you get closer to the actual AirTag itself. So if you have an iPhone 11 or newer, this is kind of a cool feature when you are actually looking for an AirTag or whatever item you may have lost. So other than that, there's not a lot else to say. It's pretty simple. This is a small device that can track whatever sort of item you want to be tracked. It's not super expensive and hopefully this isn't anything you actually need, but if there's something that you always lose a lot or something of value that you just want to be able to track 24 seven, the AirTags work great if you are an Apple user. Let me know your guys' opinion on the AirTags in the comments below. If you're an Apple user, let me know if you're picking these up and how many you're gonna pick up, what you're gonna be using them for. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day.